Hello everyone and welcome to Reentry. In this video I will take you through my recommended path in uh, learning how to play Reentry, how to get started with Reentry, and how to maneuver all of the in-game content that exists because there's quite a lot of it. Um, but first of all, a lot of new players might be tempted to just jump into Apollo and the command module and take a look at the instrumentations and if this is the first time you enter um, a fully interactive cockpit of a spacecraft, you will be overwhelmed by the sheer amount of switches and things to press and look at and a computer that is very advanced to operate. Uh, and if you want to learn this, uh, you will need to learn a lot about the orbital mechanics uh, and the uh, maneuvers required to take the spacecraft from the launch pad and all the way to the moon and back. But if you want to learn how to land on the moon, moon, you will need to not only learn this spacecraft, but also the lunar module, which is a completely different spacecraft that travels with the command module to the moon and lands on it. So I strongly recommend you to not start your re-entry uh, experience or game inside of the Apollo program. Uh, what do I actually recommend? Well, learning how to fly in space is a challenge. And there's a reason why uh, the term is not rocket science exists, because rocket science is quite advanced. There's a lot of concepts uh, to learn. First of all, you'll need to understand how the spacecraft work and all of the systems on board it. But also you'll need to uh, learn how orbital mechanics works, the physics in space. And they are quite different than what you might be used to. So the game comes with uh, three main programs. That's Project Mercury. And this is the first uh, manned program uh, that the US uh, made, uh, that's NASA. And it's the first American that, that went to space uh, uh, was through the Project Mercury program. So Project Mercury is the simplest spacecraft to, uh, to learn, and it only covers some of the main uh, elements of orbital mechanics in terms of getting from the pad into orbit and then back to a safe splashdown on Earth. So Project Mercury will not only teach you um, how a spacecraft work, but also kind of limit it to uh, simpler types of missions. So Project Mercury is um, the uh, program that I highly recommend you to, st to start out with, no matter what uh, you kind of wish to do in the end. Uh, in the game, if it's landing on the moon or if it's rendezvousing in Project Gemini. But Project Mercury will take you through a lot of the core mechanics of how to fly a spacecraft, uh, but also some of the core game mechanics that Reentry has to offer. Uh, the pre launch lesson will go through some of the main elements uh, of. Uh, how to moving around inside of a cockpit, how to look around, how to interact with switches, and uh, how to put some simple things together to prepare the spacecraft for launch. So it's mostly about setting things up and interacting uh, with the panels while also learning the game mechanics. You will not uh, focus anything on the orbital mechanics in this first lesson. So if you load into the Mercury lesson, you will see that you will get this uh, radio communication. And this is going to go through the entire lesson and take you through the steps required to pre prepare this. So even Project Mercury has a lot of systems and a lot of things to monitor and uh, learn. But it's also quite simple to do this, but it will require you to study and go through the academy lessons and try to figure it out. Uh, one of the main benefits of starting with Project, Gemini, uh, uh, Project Mercury 
going through Project Gemini before attempting uh, Project Apollo is that you'll get the technological advancement and the changes that has happened over time in the historically correct sequence. So Project Mercury doesn't have a proper onboard computer. It has a sequencer and the programmer, but you don't uh, you, you you don't need to operate the computer and figure out how the computer interfaces with everything. You'll just use these mechanical systems uh, to get into space. So, what I recommend you to do is to load up the game, and if it's the first time you go into the game, get into the academy the Project Mercury lessons and complete all of these uh, seven lessons uh, in sequence. And once you've done with these seven lessons, do them again. Because the first time you go through it, you will uh, be having a lot of questions. You don't have the general overview of absolutely everything the game has to offer. Uh, and then if you go through it a second time, you'll have a good overview, you'll understand kind of how things work together. And then if you go through it again, uh, you will uh, kind of uh, learn uh, how or may maybe make it click uh, in terms of how the spacecraft work. And once you've done uh, with all these lessons and you've gone through them twice, get uh, through the full mission exam. The full mission exam will um, kind of challenge you uh, to use what you've learned in uh, uh, by putting you on the launch pad and making you get into orbit, uh, go th around Earth once, and then splash down into the ocean. Re-entry comes with uh, a lot of uh, checklists that will also help you and every single lesson will introduce you to one or two of these checklists eventually eventually and also how to use this checklist system to uh, take you through all the procedures that is required so once you uh, once you are done with uh, project mercury I recommend you to go into Project Gemini. Uh, Project Gemini is the second spacecraft re-entry uh, offers, and it's also the second spacecraft NASA developed. Uh, there is a very big temptation for many to go to from Project Mercury, you know, learning the basics, you know, how hard can it be in Project Apollo? Well, the difference is that Project Mercury is like, uh, and going from Project Mercury to Project Apollo is like uh, going from building a shed in your backyard to a skyscraper in uh, New York City. Uh, the differences in these spacecraft uh, are uh, immense. And there's so much things going on in Project Apollo in terms of orbital mechanics, using the computer, some concepts that you'll need to know. And uh, I've tried to design the Project Gemini uh, academy and the campaign uh, to prepare you for Project Apollo as uh, good as possible. So Project Mercury will teach you about the basics of a spacecraft and all its kind of major components and how systems work together. Project Gemini will take this further by uh, adding a computer that you can use to uh, as part of calculating burns and uh, uh, maneuvering in space. It also comes with a very big challenge that players seem to be having in Project Apollo, and that's rendezvousing and maneuvering in space. So Project Mercury doesn't allow you to alter the trajectory once you are in space, but Project Gemini allows you to do this. And this uh, makes it possible to rendezvous and uh, uh, dock with a target vehicle. So I highly recommend you to go through the Gemini lessons, and uh, just as in Project Mercury, go through them twice before trying the uh, full mission exam. And once you've done with that, try to uh, do the maneuvering and burns lesson, and then go through the docking and rendezvous training. And once you've done that, 
you can go ahead and go into the uh, Gemini campaign. The Gemini campaign uh, will, just as the Mercury campaign, use uh, what you've learned in the Academy to complete more realistic missions. This is a fictional storyline that goes from Project Mercury all the way to the end of the Apollo program uh, that I made uh, using fictional characters, but it's based on the real events and uh, real missions that uh, happened um, uh, during the programs. So um, if I now go into the career mode, you can see that there's a spacecraft selection. Start with Mercury and complete all the academy lessons. And this is kind of the golden path. Complete the Mercury exam, go through the uh, Mercury campaign and complete that. And if you still would like to kind of get a, a really in-depth um, experience of how to uh, fly Mercury missions uh, in the real world, you have the historic mission. Uh, Mercury Redstone 3, 4, and Mercury Athens Atlas 6. Uh, once you are done with um, Project Gemini and you uh, have a good understanding how to rendezvous and dock in space, you will be ready for Project Apollo. And Project Apollo is uh, a huge uh, endeavor to learn. It's a lot. So Project Apollo, it has the command module, and this is the command module lessons. Go through these lessons and perform the exam. Understand the more advanced topics, and then go through the lunar module lessons and try and understand the lunar module. But once you've done with the Project Apollo lessons, before attempting the lunar module, I recommend you to go to the campaigns the Dark Side of the Moon, which is uh, only focused on the Apollo command module, and go through this campaign. Once you've done with that campaign, you can go back into the Lunar Module Academy, go through the lessons, and then finally try out the end of the decade uh, campaign, where the goal is to get you from our Earth uh, to the Moon land on the moon and get back. So that is my recommended uh, path. So the career mode will take you through this golden path, Mercury, all the way to the end. And if I go into spacecraft selection and I select Gemini, you can see that uh, the golden path here is to learn the lessons, go through the campaign, and then finally, the two spacecraft of the Apollo program. Um, the second thing that I would like to just quickly highlight, uh, and while this loads, uh, is that you should uh, also uh, consider joining the Discord community this game uh, has. Uh, the community is uh, really good and uh, very helpful uh, where new players and experienced players kind of get together, uh, ask questions, uh, learn how things work. If you're confused about something uh, that the le lessons didn't cover, ask the questions and ask us and I'm sure that someone will uh, uh, get back to you. And Every program comes with uh, a flight manual. So if I hit Shift M, I can open up the flight documents and you can open up the Pro Project Mercury game manual. This manual will uh, take you much deeper than the kind of shallow uh, in-game academy lesson does. So if you want to go even deeper in learning how to operate this craft, check out the manuals uh, that comes with each of them and use this manual to gather with the lessons. So with that, uh, I wish you best of luck in uh, learning how to uh, navigate all of the contents this game has to offer. And uh, my second key takeaway is don't skip Gemini and don't skip the rendezvous there. Uh, don't go directly from Mercury to Apollo because you will get overwhelmed. 
of course, nothing will prevent you to do that. And uh, every piece of um, um, game content is available for you to kind of choose. You can go directly to the campaigns, you can go to the scenarios, you can go through the academy and the career modes uh, in kind of the order uh, you like. But this is my recommended path. And uh, with that, thank you for watching.